Now there's one more thing that I'm wanting to go through with you in, and that's our buttonhole. Now for our buttonhole, yes, we've got all of these different ones to choose from and you're saying, well, okay, which one? What, what do we go to? Well, when you're looking at them, the basic buttonhole is this one here, the number 61. We're going to go to that same symbol here. So what you're going to do is come down to that same symbol here on the machine. And then now what we're going to do is select the number. So we're going to go 6, 1, and it's going to show me the buttonhole which I've chosen. It's got the number at the top here. And you can see our little heart has changed just to just a single heart because we're only doing one buttonhole. Now with the buttonhole on this machine, it is a one step buttonhole. That means that once you select the stitch, it's going to do the sequence in one step. You don't have to change to a different stitch for it to do all the four sides of the buttonhole. What you're going to do is push this little lever out and you're able to slot the button in the back of the foot now if you're not if you don't have the button as yet you've got your markings on the side here which you can use um, for the length of the buttonhole that you're wanting to do because sometimes when you're doing a buttonhole you're wanting to use it for a drawstring and not for a button as such so you're just wanting a particular width there now the foot does have an A on it and that's what it tells me on the screen is the number A, the letter A. And so I'm going to clip this onto the machine. So you may have to lift the shank up just a little bit more with the lever to get the foot underneath and clip it on. Now, if I tried to do my buttonhole from here, and so I put my fabric down here and I tried to do it now. It's going to tell me lower the buttonhole lever. So this is the beauty of electronic machines, computerized machines, that you can't get anything wrong. So I'm going to lift the foot and we've got a lever which is in behind the needle threader which pulls down and goes in behind this little white lever here. Now what I like to do is I like to get this first bit of thread through my buttonhole foot. Now normally I would have my marking where my button, buttonhole is going to go but what I do is I put my needle down, back up again and then I just drag that thread through my foot. It just gives me a little bit neater um, start to my buttonhole. So then this is just so hard on this machine. All I have to do now is press my foot control. Before I go any further, there's one thing that I do do, which I have forgotten to do when I'm doing a buttonhole. To get a smoother looking buttonhole, I'm going to reduce my top, top tension. The reason why I do that is I want the top thread to come over onto the back of my fabric to give me a smoother look to my um, stitching on the buttonhole. So it does a reinforcing stitch for a start, comes over with my zigzag, comes back up on my right hand side, does the bar tack at the end, goes back over my reinforcing stitch and now it does the magic of doing a tie off stitch here and then I'm going to cut the thread, it's going to lift the needle up and there's my buttonhole. You can see this little bit of thread which I'm just going to just take out of there. So that's my, my thread which I started with. But how beautiful is that buttonhole? And just this little tail of thread here. So anyone can do a buttonhole now. I love it.